Hey everybody, Johnny Skywatcher here. I haven't made a video in a very long time, but I uh, wanted to make a video to watching the Nintendo Direct. Um, maybe nothing will come of it. Maybe I won't post this. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's actually going on right now, or maybe just ended. I just got home from work, so... Um, it's, right now it says live now. If I click on it, uh, it might... It might, uh, it might, uh, spoil something. It might be in the middle, but I mean, I can always, uh, click back on it. Okay, let's, let's see if I can do this. Because I'm going to have to pause. Okay, so, I think it's, I think it probably ended, right? Probably ended already, because it, it's not playing live anymore. So, let's, let's, let's start from the beginning, I guess. Oh, I should talk about what I what I'm expecting from this. So, um yeah, I'm not really expecting much from this. I have no idea about any leaks or anything. And people keep saying Breath of the Wild 2 is still probably at best the end of this year. I'm hoping for at least a title drop. Who knows? This is Nintendo. <laughs> they might not have anything in this direct, but I'm hoping at least for a trailer with a title drop and at least a time. <laughs> a uh, uh, what? What am I? What's the words I'm looking for? I'm looking for at least a uh, time of year. Probably not a date. If it is later in the year, I'm not expecting to get a date for uh, the release, but I'm hoping at least for, you know, fall 2022. But you know, maybe Nintendo will surprise me and they'll just announce a March or April release. I know it's not likely, but you know, how much marketing do you need to have for this game? It's Breath of the Wild too, you know? Just, you can just do a couple months. People already know about it. They've had two big trailers for it around like the E3 time. I think you could do it. Uh, in terms of other games, I don't know. Uh, I, we already got the N64, which some people have been disappointed in. I held off getting it for a while, but I did get it. And that's probably a whole nother video talking about whether or not it's worth $50 a year, which I think in some ways it is. I understand people not being happy about just how much the the price increase is but I have my own thoughts on that and um, I'll probably save that for another video maybe <laughs> maybe maybe if I go back to making videos or we'll see uh, so let's yeah let's let's get back to the, the direct and at some point we'll start yes no maybe and I can't. I'm looking in the 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 uh, thing, and I, it's just showing a white screen. Okay, let's let's skip forward a little bit, because uh, I'm not. This is like the beginning. Okay, I'm skip. I'm skipping forward. I'm not running into anything. Okay, yeah, it's it's only like a 40, 40 minutes. So this is the, this thing is like over an hour. So I think it's it's including like the beginning. Uh, okay. We got something there. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Now we now we got it. We got it. We got it now. Probably lower the volume a little bit. So what is this first thing? We don't have any Smash reveals. Fire Emblem? I don't know. I didn't play Three Houses. Actually, I'm not a big Fire Emblem player. I don't think I haven't played any Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Warriors. Okay. Yeah, they made a Fire Emblem Warriors game, and I guess they're making another. I guess cool. I don't know. To destroy the irrational power structure that shackles Fodia. Yeah, I I just 
I guess that's cool. I just don't have many thoughts on it. It's yeah, that's Fire Fire Emblem Warriors. Was the the first one they made for on 3DS or was it for the Wii U or the Switch? I don't know. I haven't played any of these games, so I don't know any of these characters outside of Smash. I like the art style though. It does it does look pretty. And uh, I haven't really played any of the Warriors games, but it, outside of the Hyrule Warriors demo. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes game. We hope you'll look forward to a different story set in the same universe as Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay, here we go. The Orange Star Nation needs you. Okay, they already announced this. We've got more intel on the Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reap Boot Camp game. I was thinking the about it like the other day. Advance I was thinking, Wars. didn't You'll did that come out already? I guess not. I guess it didn't. Use their abilities in vibrant turn-based battles. Each this is another series is I've never voiced. played, Bring but I remember looking at this. I remember looking at this in Nintendo Power. Back in the day when, you know, I would read Nintendo Power because, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to get most of the games, but it's still fun to, to look at. I've never gotten into these kind of tactical games, though. I mean, not really from, like, trying them and not liking them, just never really trying them to begin with. What is this? Explore. Oh, No Man's Sky. Okay. That's interesting. I wonder what people's reaction to this will be. I know that there was a big controversy about this when it came out, but I think... I, I have heard that the game got better. Like, the, the development of the game got better, and they, they put out uh, patches and... DLCs or whatever, and improved it a lot. So I wonder if this is like the the newest version of the game, but for the Switch. I'm assuming it's not the launch version. <laughs> or is this like a different version of the game? I wonder. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Not actual gameplay. What is this? Mario Str Strikers? I had I heard of this. This was a GameCube game, right? That a lot of people liked, and they they haven't revisited since then. This looks cool. I'm not big into the Mario sports games, but this this does look pretty cool. But also your stats like speed, okay, I'm done. <laughs> and pass accuracy. I'm, I'm ready for the next thing. You see fit. It's like it's neat, but like, yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Just, uh, I don't know. I'm not big into Mario sports games. And charge it while your opponents are distracted. Or sports games, period. I guess the biggest thing I'm interested in seeing with this from people's reactions is whether it's going to be fully fleshed out or if as people are going to have the same complaints with some of the other uh sports games where they felt it was um not as good as the originals and, and didn't have enough content i know that's been a big complaint with these kind of games recently so that's what i'm kind of most interested in seeing but other than that it, i don't really care <laughs> A third party title? No, Splatoon. Okay, Splatoon 3. Are we gonna get a release date? I don't know. This is another one like. Okay. I, I, I've only played a little bit of Splatoon. 
There's just... Let me just... I'll let this just play in the background. Because <laughs> I'm not that interested. There's just a lot of games I can't afford. <laughs> you know? Only so little time. So much... Resources. So I'm sure if you're a Splatoon player, this is probably much more interesting. But for me... For me, the they've the original trailer they showed for Splatoon 3 was more interesting. Because I didn't know exactly what it was for. But the, this is just Splatoon 3 and I guess... Different battle elements. I have no idea what's going on in this. <laughs> it's very colorful though. That's a weird looking thing. Salmon run. Next wave. Hmm. I have heard the words salmon run. That was like some sort of mode. Of what? Front mission? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. I never heard of Front Mission. The sequel, Front Mission Two. So I, I don't even know. On Nintendo Switch, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the Here's your Mario Kart Nine. Rip -roaring racing <laughs> Dis Disney racing. Disney and Pixar inspired race tracks. Race as a legendary roster. For, forget Mario Kart Nine. Speed this speed is this is what people really want, right? Special abilities to battle for victory across the finish line. Choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed. Sully for oh, that didn't. Power. Or Mulan not look great. It looked like Mixie, Mickey's Each ears were not even ultimate skills. Um, brown? I got wait, wait a second. Because it would be a little surprising for them not to get Mickey Mouse's ears right for, uh, I mean, it's Missy Mouse, I'm not Missy, Mickey Mouse. That the the ears don't look round. I wonder if that's a stylistic choice or if this is just not that good of a game. I don't know. What? Why? Why do I even care? <laughs> I don't think anyone else is obsessing over this game. Disney Speedstorm is a free-to-play game with new seasons added regularly, bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters. Okay. Circuits, it's a live Kart, service. And more. So it's not Mario Kart 9. Plus, it's Mario Kart Tour for a Switch well split with Disney characters. <laughs> Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. It's not a bad name, though. Disney Speedstorm. Sounds kind of cool. Dive into these classic franchises on Nintendo Switch. Unleash the power of the Force in this classic Star Wars action adventure. Oh, that's Star interesting. Vader's secret apprentice. You'll use devastating Force powers and light. Is it just the first one, though? As you hunt down Jedi masters on iconic planets. Upgrade abilities like Force Grip and Force Repulse, then combine them. I've never played these because I I, I I never had a uh, PlayStation or Xbox, so I'd be interested in actually uh, maybe checking this out. Also, duel locally with a friend to determine who is the galaxy's most powerful Jedi. Star Wars. Though it kind of depends on how well the game is. Um, Pre-orders begin today. How well it performs on the Switch. The complete saga of legendary just the first one uh, I don't know how people feel about that I'm not sure how well the second one was received but it feels weird not to put the second one on there I mean the second one wasn't on the, uh, the next gen system right okay so so far how, how much time do we have left uh, I have no idea <laughs> You can also battle alongside friends in online co-op multiplayer. SD Gundam Battle No big, Alliance no huge announcements, I would say. I think I'd heard people Two predict cross uh, Fire Warriors. No. RPG classic. Fire Emblem the Warriors, not Fire Warriors. Of the acclaimed RPG Chrono Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. One fateful day. The protagonist search is this new into an alternate world i mean uh the the Though is this remaster new homeworld, i'm assuming no this would be exists. also released on how other systems 
What is this mysterious? I haven't no. played this game, but I've seen like Travel the cutscene, so I'd be definitely be interested in checking this out. The story. I still need to Over check out the Final Fantasy VIII. Depending it's been a while since I played make, that. The allies who accompany you and the endings that trigger flashes. It's that's way cool. Nintendo Switch April seventh. I'm assuming it's releasing on other systems. Today but on Nintendo e still pretty cool. That that I'm probably the first thing I'm interested in. Kirby, we said we saw this announcement trailer. So let's see what here. We we got a release date already, so I wonder if they're gonna show us a little bit more about gameplay and how this game is going to actually work. Like if is are these gonna be like really big stages like Mario Odyssey or are you getting something more open world? I'm assuming it's more like Mario Odyssey, where you get really big stages. But we'll have to see. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platforming adventure, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It all takes place in a mysterious world with an unusual I really like the look of this game. And civilization. I mean, it's been a while since I played a Kirby the game. Dees, Kirby I think the only Kirby games adventure. I've played are the original um, Kirby's Dream Land for the Game Boy and Kirby 64. Mouthful mode. I've tried some of the Kirby games on like the SNES for a vending machine to attack with juice cans. Sorry, uh, let me pause this. I'm I'm getting distracted. I've tried some of the Kirby games for the SNES on uh, the Nintendo Switch Online, but I I don't know. I just couldn't get into it as much. Maybe because you have the the rewind feature, and it's just I don't know. It's just just didn't get pulled into them. So I'll see. Maybe maybe I'll check this game out. Or become a he rescues Waddle D's. Waddle D Town will continue to grow and more resources will become available. That's cool. I always like that kind of element in games when you, you have progression of an At area. Waddle D's weapon shop. Familiar copy abilities can and you feel like your actions actually have an effect on the world. That's always cool. Okay, it's a sports game. Okay, it's a sports game. I have no interest at all in this. So yeah, I wonder what people's reactions to this direct are going to be. I feel like it hasn't had anything big that's going to get people really excited so far. And I wonder if this is going to have anything. I mean, Kirby we already knew about, obviously. Fire... Emblem Warriors, maybe some people are excited about, but I don't think it's going to have the same punch as some other times. And there's no Smash announcements, so I feel like people are probably going to be more disappointed in this. But there's always people disappointed in this Smash Direct. You're going to hands full of games with these collections. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. And we, we know about this From already, Kingdom but Hearts, it's for Cloud and, and the Remind DLC. Every entry is coming to I, I just don't know why. Cloud versions that can be played while why 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 did, why did you not do 1.5 2.5 native? You did, alongside Sora, Square Enix, Donald, come on. Goofy, and more you did 10 10 to tabletop. Even if you had to download 10 because you couldn't fit it on the card, I'm pretty sure you could do 1.5 plus 2.5. There's no reason to not do it. Portal? Oh, that's interesting. You're in for a puzzling treat. In these award-winning games, the portal gun is your As much as I, I like that Switch is getting a lot of these kind of older older games it's it's also becoming a sort of thing where nintendo is just switch is just getting all these older games it's like it does not create that much excitement i mean i i'm slightly interested in some of these games because i've never gotten a chance to play them but it it, it certainly does not generate a lot of hype because a lot of people have already played these games and they don't have a, a reason to necessarily get them specifically for the switch Unless they specifically want to play them handheld. Now, what is this? Classic comes alive. Um, I have no idea. 
Legend is alive. I still have no idea what this is. Live alive makes its overseas live debut alive. now in HD 2D. Okay. Multiple stories featuring. I like the art style. I like the the HD. The order in which you tackle. Was it H HD prehistory 2D sprite style? Without words. The mission. Are these all different stories? Live Alive launches on Nintendo Switch July 27th. I've never heard of this game, but it looks interesting. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. How was that? Next up is this. It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports Nintendo series. Switch Sports. Okay. Nintendo Switch Sports. <laughs> Please take Why did they not have this at the launch of Switch? Here are the sports included in the Nintendo Switch sports game. You it's just interesting to come out now. When this this should have totally been what came out with as an add-on uh, included Rally with the Switch rather than one two Switch. At the right time. As well. Okay, this is. <laughs> I don't know if we needed this right, much time on uh, Nintendo Switch sports. We'll I think what we got before this was fine. This seems a little bit much. Oh, all right. Oh, we're doing this. Seems like uh, we're padding for time. Newly added sport in an I don't dislike this, but I don't think pe this is what people are hoping for in a Nintendo Direct. Come on. <laughs> we want announcements, new trailers, not s sort of a a very short treehouse. <laughs> All right, I'll be leaving now. What was the point of that? <laughs> wow, volleyball gameplay. That was an introduction. I, I, I think we got the idea in the trailer. With an active Nintendo Switch online membership on the date show. And let me guess, Nintendo still won't be able to figure out online play. Nintendo website for more details. So I don't play any uh, multiplayer games. It's like they, they just can't figure it out. That's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. I hope you're looking forward to this game. That was about five minutes too long. Nintendo I think the trailer was just fine. You did not need whatever that was. Get those Taiko drumming skills ready. The latest I feel like this was already announced. <laughs> coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Set maybe Nintendo maybe it was that something else. I, I don't know. You'll strive to become a Taiko master along with brand new characters. All right, I think I think it was the last direct this was announced. Yeah, that's Megalovania. Okay, whatever. Feels <laughs> of songs as many times as he'd like. New modes have also been added for everyone to enjoy. Put on a live concert. How much time is left? In Don Chen Band. We're, we're running out of time. Off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. I don't know. I don't know how long I've been recording. Let's see. Drum to your heart's content. I've been recording for 40 minutes, so it's probably like 35 or something like that. How long did I talk at the beginning? Plus. A paid uh, we're getting this is 40 minutes long we should be getting closer to the end right and there's been like nothing nothing big what's new with these Nintendo switch games so I think we're pretty much at the point where we're just getting small announcements new, and updates game, and then maybe one last thing at the here. end the protagonist Sarah Zelda <laughs> breath of the wild the uh, title announcement your choices <laughs> please we'll see will determine their fate as lord of house wolfort i solemnly swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound i will never turn my back on the promise of a better world a new demo i think it's dumb they didn't come up with, with a better title for this later today. triangle strategy really <laughs> from the demo can you couldn't you couldn't come up with something better with wild personalities and even attacks the Man, I've never played it. Is a new playable character. I, I saw the Netflix uh, teaser for the show they're doing on Netflix. I have to say, at least it never bothered me to look at, at the footage of the game, but like looking at them in animation just as characters, uh, I, I kind of, it's a little disturbing. I don't know, like their, their heads are like, they're like li liquid. Is that their brains or whatever? And they, how, how does it not spill? Like it's one thing in the game, but like seeing it in like the Netflix Netflix series that they're making, it's a little disturbing. Kind of, 
it kind of weirds me out, you know? So this is interesting. I have Metro Dread, and I played through it. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. No. I'm not that, I'm not good enough at Metroid to play this. This is not for me. I haven't even really tried hard mode. <laughs> Rookie mode? I don't, I don't need rookie mode. I I was able to get through normal. But rookie mode is cool for, for people who are not good at it. I, I struggle. Th and and I'll, uh, several bosses to get through it. So I, I think rookie mode is good for some people. Earthbound. Ooh. I've never played this through, but I am interested. Is this... Is this not part of Nintendo Switch Online? This is... They're selling this as a as its own game? But I'm guessing no Mother 3. <laughs> uh, okay. Earthbound. Earthbound Beginnings. Oh, come on. You got to do Mother 3. Come on. Come on, Nintendo. If you're doing Earthbound Beginnings... Is this is this like a... Packed together? Or are they being sold separately? Come on. You, you got to do Mother 3. Come on, Nintendo. If, if they don't do Mother 3... Announce Mother 3 with this... It's, it's just going to be so... You cowards. You cowards. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's a Nintendo Switch Online. That's the reason why. But still... Mm, I could just... I could just feel the, the disappointment of so many people throughout the world. <laughs> when they, they, they announce Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings. And then not Mother 3. Especially because it, uh, maybe I missed it at the beginning. I don't think it came out and said this is uh, coming to Nintendo Switch Online. So I thought at first, like maybe they were uh, releasing as like a three pack. But nope, no, no Mother 3. Oh well. I'll have to check it out because I've never played through Earthbound. I'm not a huge fan of that kind of gameplay where it's an RPG, but you don't see the characters. So I, I, for me personally, I think I would have preferred like a remake of Earthbound, but I, I'm still interested to play it through. Now we're just going through some small games. Probably before the one last thing. Not Demon Slayer. I, I just bet there's so many people upset that they, that they, they had Earthbound, the Earthbound Beginnings, and then uh, uh, Nintendo Switch Online. <laughs> no Mother of Three for you. <laughs> well, they don't have Game Boy for Nintendo Switch Online, even though how hard, how hard could it be, really? How hard is it, Nintendo? Come on. Oh, are they, Mario Kart Nine? Oh, they're just uh, giving you an update. More DLC. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't think I saw many people predicting this. More DLC for Mario Kart 8. But it, it sold so well. It's like one of the top selling games for Switch. And it's still selling. Which uh, I just gotta say. It's interesting that they're doing this. Because like... The whole idea of it being deluxe was kind of like it has the all the DLC, but now you're adding more DLC. At least it didn't call it something like the complete collection. Hmm. I wonder if this DLC will be included in the N Nintendo Switch Online expansion. It should be. I know people kind of want more from it, and that this is something they should include. I don't even have Mario Kart, and I'm I'm just like it, it would make sense to include this in the 
uh, Nintendo Switch. Whoa, whoa. Booster course. There's like multiple waves? You can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. Oh, okay, with yes. With Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack Membership. Or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. I wonder how expensive it is. Is it 25 for like the whole DLC with the multiple waves? Or is each wave... Now nah, it's got to be the whole thing, right? Okay, well, one last thing. Zelda. Please, Zelda. Zelda? No. Yeah. Fire, fire, fire emblem? Fighting in order to live? No Zelda. And living to fight. That's the way of our world. I Is this fire emblem? Or something else? Tell me! What would possess you to side with them? We're fighting oh, with this is um. I refuse to believe you're him. I knew it. I that other. You are wow, what is that game enemy. series? Now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try, try to move forwards again. Xeno Gears or I, I what is it called? They're not your friends anymore. They're his few. It's the character Shulk is from, right? By great sword. I haven't played any of these games, so the I, I, I don't know. The real enemy. I have no idea what's happening. Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Yep. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played any of these. September 2022 and still the story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the future still no Zelda are you Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 not even a mention of it <laughs> not even a we're going to give you something later this year that's all for today's Nintendo Direct thank you for watching okay So I don't typically get that disappointed but uh, with these Nintendo Directs because it's not like I'm pinning all my hopes and dreams on them. But I, I'm a little disappointed in not even a mention of Breath of the Wild 2. It kind of makes me afraid it's going to get pushed off because just like people were saying last year when they um, showed the second trailer for it, they said we're aiming for 2022. Which in Zelda terms often means it's going to be delayed and not actually come out in 2022. So I feel like a lot of people are going to be speculating about that. That means if we, if they do show it in the next direct, it's probably going to be around E3. Which it, it could, they could still do it, have a full reveal at E3 and come out before the end of the year. Right. They could still do it. I mean, I don't know. It just depends on whether it's done or not, I guess. It's just, it seems like when you're reusing so many, reusing the same engine, it should go quicker. <laughs> Especially since it seems like from what people have been saying that it's going to reuse a lot of the map. I don't know how much. If, if it's just the same map with added elements, it just kind of seems like uh, what what's taking so long? Maybe it's it's my guess, just pure pure speculation here, and I'm no expert. Is that maybe some of the elements that you think of uh, just adding in actually do take a lot of time to test? Like that time mechanic, I could see how they got to test it in a lot of different situations and probably run into problems of like you gotta things have to be able to reverse and how does that work and how does it interact with other things and they probably run into a lot of development problems where things don't work right and it causes glitches and all sorts of things so i would imagine that's probably more of the hold up than like filling out the map with things so we will have to see so that was the nintendo direct i i don't have anything else to say i'm johnny skywatcher uh you can uh, follow me, 
I don't tweet really, but uh, go ahead. If you want me to tweet <laughs> more, uh, go follow me on Twitter at Ch- uh, uh, what is it? J Skywatcher. I got the link somewhere, somewhere here, right? Uh, let me. Yeah, let me get to here. Here we go. J Skywatcher. Yeah. And then um, uh, you go ahead and uh, tweet me there and uh, tell me if you want me to play more games on Twitch at Johnny Skywatcher because it's been forever since I've done that too. And yeah, maybe I'll um, try to get back to making more YouTube videos. If you want me to make YouTube videos, let me know because I don't know. I haven't been feeling it a lot and I've been busy with other things and nobody watches. So kind of kind of makes it hard to motivate myself anyway thank you so much for watching this if you watched at this point and i i'll see you around see you around if i see you around